by Bright Rekun Brobe. We are discussing issues surrounding the Himan Luadensha constituency in the central region of Ghana. Do not forget that um, our WhatsApp line has been changed for today. And so you can start sending in your comments, your messages to 0551338611. 0551338611. Do not forget that wherever you find yourself this evening, we are streaming live on Facebook at Pan African Television. You can as well send in your comments on the page and we are gladly read your messages for you. Ivan. Yes, uh, I mean, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, my name is Ivan Bant, and as usual, like my colleague uh, intimated, we are touching base with the good people of the Himaloa Dentua constituency. Now, I was worth noting that the, the Himaloa Dentua constituency is located uh, in the Chifo Heman Lower Dentua district in the central or of the central region of Ghana. Now, the constituency was first created in 2014 by the Electoral Commission. And obviously, when it was created, when election was held in 2014, uh, Benjamin Ben Podonko from the, I mean, representing the New Patriotic Party, emerged as the member of parliament. In 2004. For, yeah, 2004, yeah. yes, yeah, 2004, I beg your pardon. Emerged as the member of parliament from the MPP presiding the Himalaya Dentra constituency. Now it's interesting uh, to know some settlements within the Himalaya Dentra. Sure. Um, the 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 I mean the Chifo Himalaya mm -hmm. Dentra constituency. Mm -hmm. We have uh, settlements like the Apenko, the Ankako, the Ayase. We have the Junkwa. We have the Ankako. We have the Munkusu, the Yerebusu, the Chifo Praso, Chifo Mampo, and um, the Entafrawase. These are very <laughs> these are interesting. These are interesting settlements. I'm by the way, you're mentioning those <laughs> things. <laughs> anyway, oh, these I are see. interesting settlements within the constituency. Yes, and um, <laughs> it's worth noting that uh, we have we can find the the Kakum National Park within this very yeah. you know settlement. It's a great the, this constituency. We call it have the 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 River Pra mm -hmm. also within this constituency or within this settlement or within this area. Um, also, we have the Chifo Oil Palm Plantation Limited Company also located within you know the, this environment as well. So it's quite an interesting or pretty much an interesting constituency yeah. that we need to zoom in on. Yeah. And so, I mean, like you can intimate, we'll be looking at issues surrounding the constituency. We were in that constituency some few weeks back weeks so. and uh, it was interesting how we interacted with people and yeah. we saw some abandoned project that was, I mean, uh, done by the former member of parliament that is um, Foster Joseph and the honorable Foster Joseph Andor and uh, quite unfortunate he, he I mean he yeah, exited power yeah. and uh, we had um, the current member of parliament who is in the person of um, Bright, Bright honorable Bright Wilco Bobby you know um, 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 happening who obviously happens to be the member of parliament. So we'll be, we'll be digesting on some of these issues pretty shortly. But uh, before we get interactive or we'll start you know, our conversations and everything, we'll go for this quick break or return. We'll have some more bites for you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello? I'm 
Who has brought the same messages here? And the office also. I'm not trying to hear She says, "I'm not the main guy." I'm in the middle of a guy manu. I'm the young who could look right. And so, what's the one thing? Family Drilling Company Limited for Ghana. What's the name? Family Drilling Company Limited. Here to borrow biofuel. Biogas, swimming pool, plumbing works in Yinaso, Yeyebi, Freye, 0240 333 111, and I said 0244 148822. Me and Pan and Ne, we want to see you, we Welcome back. This is Constituency Connect here on Pan African Television. As I said earlier, we are streaming live on Facebook at Pan African Television. So call a friend to tell another friend that Constituency Connect is live. Wherever you find yourself, in your bus, in your offices, at your homes, anywhere. If you cannot get access to your television, do well to log in to Facebook and join us on our platform at Pan African Television and send in your comments as well and we'll gladly read them for you this evening. Today on Constituency Connect, him and lower dentra constituents in the central region as um, uh, we, are, we are focusing on that constituency. Yes, it's the constituency on board for this evening. The WhatsApp number is 0551 338611. So I'll give you a short profile about uh, a short profile of our guest for this evening, um, Honorable Foster Joseph Ando. That is our guest for this evening. He's our guest. And so send in your comments. So Joseph um, Foster Ando is from the Himaloa Dentra constituency. Um, in 2008, he was parliamentary candidate for the um, representing the National Democratic Congress. He was also the DCE for Chief for Himaloa Dentra District Assembly 2009 to 2012. And he was also a member of parliament for the Himaloa Dentra constituency 2013 to 2016 and obviously he lost power in 2016 he represents the ndc yes he's the ndc parliamentary candidate for this year 2020 okay so as i said earlier our contact number our whatsapp and text messages number is 0551338611 we want you to connect with your member of parliament incoming um and so that is why we are displaying the WhatsApp number for you. So any question you have for him, you can send it to our number and we'll read it loud and clear for him. Honorable, oh, before I go, um, let me ask you this first question. You, you, the constituency, you presided over the constituency um, for some time. And yeah. what happened? What contributed to your loss in 2016? And how sure are you that this year you could retain the seat in December, come December? Thank you very much, and let me say a very good evening to your cherished viewers, especially the very good people of Heman Lower Dentra constituency. My people, I salute you. It's all what is lost, we are going to gain them back. Yes, back to your question. You know, in 2016, <laughs> we had a lot of factors contributing to the loss of NDC. Seats that we were so sure of, we lost them. It wasn't so much of um, lack of projects or that we were not performing the incompetence ta uh, tag that was uh, labeled on NDC was misplaced because NDC had worked seriously. Mis tag. Serious misplaced. But then, you know, in Ghana, it's becoming a norm that somebody has spent eight years, and for that matter, whether you are performing or not, you have to leave the scene. But coming to my seat in Himanloa Dentra, if you start from Dejokwa, which is the first town, to Heman, which is the last town, 
not mentioning the villages on both sides of the road, I had worked in almost every community. Yet, my people bought into the lies of the sitting uh, member of parliament, giving them mouth-watering promises, and they bought the, 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 the lies, only for them to realize now that all what he was telling them were fake, non-existent, and blatant lies. My sister, I am going to get the seat back. We are not going to rest on our OS. We are going to really work for it. And with my good people supporting me, I know by the uh, 8th of December this year, the member of parliament elect for Himalaya Denshira constituency will be Honorable Foster Joseph Ando. Right. So let me take this question. Northern Chua District from 2009 to 2012. Yes. You emerged as a member of parliament for this very constituency. Yes. Now, in your own estimation, do you think you did enough for the good people of um, the Himalaya Northern Chua within the constituency? Uh, thank you very much. You know what? We had one district, the defunct Chufu Himalaya Northern Chua District Assembly. Right. But then it was one district with two constituencies, okay. the Chufu Timukwa constituency and the Himan Lower Densha constituency. You know what? The constituency's name is Himan Lower Densha. Okay. And the district's name is Chufu Himan Lower Densha District Assembly. Right. Yes. The, the, the defunct Chufu Himan Lower Densha District Assembly, which was uh, Chufu uh, Timukwa and uh, Himan Lower Densha constituency was having the district capital at Chufu Praso. Okay. Okay. That was where I was the DCA. Right. So I superintended over two constituencies under one district. It was in 2012 that we split the district into two separate districts, each having its own constituency. So I had to I had to move to the the newly formed district, which is incidentally bearing the same old name as Tufu Human Lower Than Chat. Just like the defunct one. The one, right. Yeah, so I moved in to the new district in September. And by December, I by God's grace I won the seat and moved to Parliament. Okay. But whilst as a DC for the two constituencies, you know, I, 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 ha I have the belief that actions speak louder than words. And your words speak loudly for you than you trumpeting your achievements. Look, my brother, if you go to the district, every single community are managed to visit there and did something for them. Every single community. I was in resting. We had a lot of villages, a lot. So, uh, may he so rest in peace. Uh, the late Professor Mouse deemed it fit when we consulted him that the district is just too vast. Mm. Working in it is, is, is so enormous, so we should get it split. He agreed. And when three districts in central region were earmarked for split, thank God, Himan, uh, Tufu Himan Lord and the district assembly benefited. Right. I, I, I'm not claiming credit for it, but I really contributed in getting that district split. Right. Because as a DCE, I was uh, moving, you know, left, right, center in the district. And I realized that working in it is, 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 is not an easy task. Now, we have two DCEs working in the split districts. District. Yet, they are fumbling. So it was a very good idea. It was a very good thing for 
the good people of the two districts that we got it split. To split. Yes. Right. Just to um, you know, fast track the development. Mm, okay. And you know what? When I was a DC, I made sure that every community that needed school, we should provide it. Because I couldn't fathom how children should work, work, work about seven kilometers to school and back instead of getting them a school in their own community. Top of the head, can you let us know how many schools there are in uh, the Hima, you know, lower than your, you know, constituency, top of the head? You mean the, 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 the current schools? The, no, oh, no, I'm, what I mean is, you mean the, uh, the defunct district or the, the, new, the new, the split district? The new split districts. Schools, uh, my, my hometown alone, which is, I come from Hima, actually. Yeah. My hometown alone, we have, if we have to combine private schools, mm -hmm. private schools in addition or just? Yeah, I mean, both private schools and them. Uh, if we have to combine private schools to government schools in Hema town alone, we have not less than 25 schools. Okay. Not less than not less 25 than schools. schools. Okay. So if you have to combine the, 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 the schools in the entire district, entire district. it's... Primary schools alone, you can count over 150. Yes. Okay. Because you know what? Walking from Jokwa to Himan, the stretch um, of road from Cape Coast to, to Fopraso, that is where the district is. It starts from Jokwa and ends at uh, Himan. Okay. But then, if you enter the hinterlands that is where we have a lot of villages a lot of them mm. a lot of villages and that is where the problems are mm. you know if we count the number of towns along the main road you cannot count more than 30 no but then counting the villages together you can count as many as almost 90. Mm. okay understand mm. so the the, the ma vast majority of the people live in the hinterlands and they were so vulnerable in terms of development when i see something like that my heart bleeds because you know what they provide for those of us along the road by way of bringing in full staffs to the market centers for us to get some to buy and feed ourselves so more like the way they uh, food baskets. So why do we have to deny them the basic, you know, uh, 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 amenities like water, electricity, uh, uh, roads? You know why? So you know, I'm bet sure that every almost every village had electricity. Mm. I extended electricity to almost every village. As I speak with you now, we have only about sixteen villages that right. has no electricity right and even that if i were to be the member of parliament now by then i would have connected all of them so i left over this thinking that the one who took over for me mm. will have a just a small task by connecting the rest of the system villages to the national grid oh, no. I mean, as the conversation goes, producer, if you can hear me, um, let's see the videos of, um, I mean, the achievements, um, honorable, you know, left before, I mean, exiting power, so it can be on the screens while we have the discussion. Yes. All right. So, honorable, you're saying? Yes. I said I was go, uh, thinking that my successor will continue from where I left off by way of providing the rest of the villages with electricity. Only 16 left. No, at a go, I made sure about 42 communities got connected. F 16, lost, you know, first year connect four villages. Second year connect the, the, the next four villages. Third year connect the next four villages. So by the fourth year, 2020, the last four villages would have been connected. And Himal the entire Himal constituency mm. would have been connected with electricity. Wow. My heart bled when those days people will have to leave their villages walk or just if they don't get any vehicle they have to walk
to come and charge oh, just can see this on the screen. mobile phones. Yes. Just their mobile phones. You have to walk from the villages to the, uh, the main towns along the main road to get their phones charged. charged. Wow. And walk back. Wow. Some got their phones lost. Some got their batteries removed. And, you know, so many... Uh, other other things. Right, so let's move to the health sector aspect of it, right? Let's let's delve into the health sector of it because right. upon our visitation, we saw some chip compounds that you, I mean, you helped put up, um, and some other health facilities that you helped put up. Let's let's have a conversation around that as well. Yeah. So like I was saying, when when these people are denied certain mm. facilities, facilities, I'm not happy. So I had to ensure that we connect them with chips compounds so that they cannot mm. you know <laughs> be burdened with having to carry uh, sick people on their head to the main road where we have few uh, clinics we have clinic at Himan, we have clinic at uh, Fra, uh, no uh, Frame, we have one at Jokwa yeah so looking at the entire district just about three health facilities so we then we need to we needed to provide them with chips compounds. More chip compounds well. So I did one at a place called Insuntem. Insuntem, okay, okay. I okay. did one at Ankako. Ankako. I did one at Bukuruso. Nice. I did one at Infu. Okay, so let's have the, the, the videos roll on the screen. I did one at Watreso. Okay. Uh, I did one at Esukesechi. Okay. I did one at Shed. Asensu who Shed. But like you ask, we couldn't finish all. Yeah. As I speak with you, the book is one is uncomplete. Uncompleted, yes. As you can see, she same. And um, what Treso was completed in a way, but it was not equipped. Okay. As I speak with you now, if you go to the place, you you will be sorry. I think you went there. We were there. We saw it. You'll be sorry. I mean, how can we be so wicked to our own people? How can we? How much does it take to even construct a chips compound? Let alone somebody has started and you have to complete it. It's sheer wickedness. I was very impressed. Ask me. I was very impressed when we visited the Ankako uh, chips compound. Yes. And uh, upon 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 getting there, I realized that you had also constructed a borehole in addition to the chips compound. That could also aid in the community, you know, trying to get 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 water. So let's look at that producer. If you have that footage, let's look at that. The Akanko, Akanko um, chips compound that had the borehole as part of the chips compound. Know, I, I am a very honest person. Mm. I didn't construct the borehole. Okay, okay. I okay. did. Wow, wow. I did the uh, the chips compound. Okay. And when I when I even left office, I left forty five thousand Ghana cities. Wow. For them to equip that chips that compound. Is, uh, that chips compound. Yes. But then, by the time the borehole was constructed, I had hesitated. Hmm. So I'm sure the district assembly provided them with a borehole. But are we fully up with the that credit that left to know exactly what it was used for? Oh, yes. I, I was liaising with the district health director. Okay. And we got the furniture, the, you know, whatever they would need. So if you enter the chips compound, whatever is there was from my share of the common fund. That is what I used for, for the good people of Ankaku. But it, it, it has a short history, let me tell you. When we were about to commission that project, the district assembly did not invite me. But okay. I, I got wind of it. And I said, look, I haven't seen anybody in this world who has conceived a child the child is delivered it's n n a time for the child to be named and the parents will not be invited is it possible so I did not invite me but I I, I, I went myself and look you cannot commission this project without me because this is my baby it's your work it is my baby the people of Ankaku did not demand chief command for me I saw the need to construct that chief's compound because of the strategic position of Ankako. Mm. Because you know what?
people from the Sukesechi, I be out here and the places all come to Ankako. And the good people of Ankako deserve more than a church compound. Mm. So I even thought that that place be turned into a clinic. But then I hesitated. Okay. So that was Ankako okay. church compound for okay. you. All right, so Honorable, when we visited the constituency, we had calls to interact with um, some residents and constituents there. Yeah. So, producer, if the video is ready, let's have that footage where we interacted with some residents and constituents. Yes, let's, let's have that footage. We'll be back shortly. Stay with us. A man lower than your constituency and Kako community, to be precise. Now, today, our focus is on this um, health facility. It's the Ankako chips compound now this was um, built by the former member of parliament um foster joseph andor who is currently the parliamentary candidate for the national democratic congress in the human lower dentral constituency uh, we'll be talking to some people or some residents obviously constituents within this constituency to find out how beneficial this uh, chip compound has been to them and hey this is the only chip compound in the anchor con uh, community in the human, the, the human lower dental constituency. And so we'll be talking to some residents and constituents to find out how this very cheap compound has been of uh, benefit to them as far as health is concerned. So as part of um, the project being done by the former member of parliament, uh, Honorable um, Joseph Foster Andor um, was um, this very borehole you're seeing. Uh, the people complained bitterly about the fact that water seems to be an issue here. And so as at the time the chip compound was uh, built, he thought it wise to obviously add a, a, a borehole uh, to the project, obviously to serve them with water. And this is to uh, have some examples to, to show you that this is something that obviously um, gets the people um, water. You can see the water is flowing. And so obviously, like I said, we'll be having a conversation with some of uh, the constituents here to find out about how they feel about all these projects that have been done by the former member of parliament who is currently contesting uh, the seat again, obviously lost in 2016 and contesting the seat again. My name is Ivan Bant, and this is still Constituency Connect. All right, so tell us the name of it. Yeah, I'm Ivas Kojo Igan. How do you feel about this uh, chip compound in uh, Ankako um, community and how has it been of benefit to you and obviously the people in this um, community? Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, this chip compound has been very useful. It's very beneficial to the people of this community. Um, in fact, uh, it supports and it helps um, uh, those of us who cannot travel far to the uh, district hospital. Um, it gives uh, the first aid for people around this community. Yeah, so it's been very, very, very beneficial to the people of this community. Yeah. Okay, but I, I'm told that, I mean, um, initially there was no water facility here or there was not access to enough water here. And uh, now we can see clearly that uh, there's this borehole being put here for um, to also support the chip compound. How is that a feeling? Yeah, I think um, the borehole there is very, very important because even the, the workers here, they cannot go out you know, where the chip compound is, is very far from the community. So the the officials or the workers, the staff here cannot go to the community to fetch water for the for their um, useful. So getting boho here is very, very important. Yeah, it's very, very important. Thank you. Yeah. Can we? Um, yeah, thank you for the opportunity giving me. In fact, you know, our health is very, very, concerned, very, very important when it comes to human lives and our daily activities. We can't just go on with our daily lives without checking our health conditions. So, looking at the area, you see it yourself. We didn't have anything like that. Thanks to NDC that we were able to put up this facility here to serve the people in and around Ankako. So, it's been very, very useful. Had it not been this facility, I don't know what the people around here would have, would have done with their lives and their daily activities. So, it's very, very, very important. How far is um, how far is um, moving from here to the district hospital is? Even the district itself doesn't have a district hospital. 
The shit doesn't even have a digital. It doesn't have what it has is a is a, a clinic. A clinic, just a clinic. Is it even a, a clinic? It's a health center because recently the the city MP built a ward. And on, on a banner that he he did for the for the inauguration of the program, he himself as a deputy minister wrote on it as head center. So you can imagine we don't have a digital hospital. We only have chips compound. The, the, the immediate one we have is at Etimokwa district. So if there is any emergency, you need to be traveled to Etimokwa district where, where you can have a digital hospital. It poses a lot of danger and harm. Very, very serious. Very, very, the people in this area are just under the care of God. It is only God who is protecting us from any emergency occurrences. We don't have anything called the hospital or any emergency center where when there is any problem, you can be taken there. No, we don't have that one in the constituency. Clearly, the Ankar Kuchip compound has been extremely useful to the people here. You can, from, from all that I have told you, you can see it for yourself. A lot. It has done a lot for the people in this area. I remember the addition of the, the boho. The boho, yeah. I remember we brought some PPEs. Since the coronavirus came around, we brought them some items here the last time, and we met some people here. They were they were attesting to the fact that this facet has been very very useful to them. Yeah, it is good we have the boho here. It was part of the project. Yeah, it was part of the project because you can't have this facility without water. There should be a running water all the time so that people who come around, somebody may even fit us, which he he, may, he or she may need water. So it is good we have the boho around. And aside the fact that the tin compound are also using it, people within and around the, the community can equally come as well and have water. My brother, you know very well water is life. Yeah. Somebody may be passing by and the person may fit us. He, he has to come by and, and then take some water. So water is very, very important to you and me, not people in this area alone. You are here. If there is no water in your car, where will you get water from? You have to run to the mall. All right, so welcome back. If you're just joining, this is still Constituency Connect right here on Pan-African Television. You can join in the conversation by sharing with us your thoughts and comments on the WhatsApp number 0551-338-611. 0551-338-611. You can send it as a text message as well. We stream live on Facebook at Pan-African Television. Do not forget to leave your comments there and we will read it out to you. Now, Honorable, welcome back. Now, there's one thing that caught my attention when mm. we were having this conversation. The last gentleman we spoke to clearly made it, I mean, intimated clearly that um, there's no district hospital in, 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 in the, you know, Himalaya Dentura. There was no district hospital. What is your take on that? Yeah, it's true. I was shocked to the bone when he said that. Yeah, we had no district hospital uh, <clears throat> because, you know, when the district was one, Mm. Together with that of a team Okwa, Okwa, yes. to Fupra so happened to be the district capital. Just capital. That is where we have the district, district hospital. hospital. Now, but then the when, when we split, Human Lower Denture is left with uh, just two health centers, Heman and Jokwa, and uh, another, yeah, uh, three, three health centers, uh, uh, Frame, you know. <clears throat> but uh, MDC started. You know, to just provide a, a district hospital for us. I was asked to look for land, which I, I, okay. I did. We demarcated vast land at Heman meant for the district hospital. You remember, uh, during 2015-2016, we had a lot of uh, district, uh, sorry, hospital projects ongoing. Unfortunately, Heman was not factored hmm. into it. But then I was given the fullest of assurances that the next batch of hospitals we were going to qualify. Included. Okay. So definitely, uh, if NDC had been in power by now, there would have been a district there hospital. There would have been a big district hospital at Tufu Heman. Hmm. Well, thank God His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has promised that when he's giving the nod again, every district that has no hospital now will have a hospital. Right. That's and something. I so believe okay. that will happen. Right. Now something caught my attention here. Let's look at the aims and objectives that um, you have put across. Now it clearly says that 
is to, your aims and objectives is to see the total development of the constituency by way of mobilizing available resources to provide the needed infrastructure, infrastructure and human development. Very explicit. Now my concern is mobilizing available resources. How are you going to, in your own capacity, mobilize um, available resources? I know you are currently the parliamentary candidate representing the human lower denture constituency of the National Democratic Congress. Mm -hmm. Now how are you going to mobilize the available resources to aid in the infrastructure and human development? Yes, you know, when you are, when you are uh, a member of parliament, mm. yes, you are Entitled to the entitled to fund? so many facilities. Okay. The common fund aside, you can lobby, right, and get so many projects. Done. That is what I did for my people when I was a member of parliament. Hmm. Apart from using the MPs common fund for projects, I lobbied hmm. and got a lot Done. of facilities would, for my people. Would you say they didn't? They did. I mean. They, 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 they you know what? take interest in it. You know what? Human Township, if you observed, we have a lineup of street lights. That's true. You saw it? That's true. Good. That was not from my uh, MP's command fund. I lobbied for that project and got it. Hmm. Jukwa was going to be the next town to be provided with the street lights. I ask again, would you say people did not appreciate all that you did? Well, I will not say they did not appreciate. Maybe they bought into the lies and the big talks of uh, my opponent. That's all. Hmm. That's all. You know, we are human, and people want new things. That's true. It's only when they are faced with, with the, uh, uh, the reality that they realize the mistake Mistakes they that they have done. Right. So now that, uh, you know, they gave me four years. Hmm. They've given the city MP also four years. We are going to compare our four years activities mm. and see who really qualifies or merits their vote this time. Mm. Right. Now, talk of lights, like a clearly intimated, a lot of light or street lights. No, I was ans answering your question okay. when you said, okay. uh, how am I going to mobilize right, resources? Right. Yes. Uh, go on, right. So I'm saying that it's not only, if you are an MP, it's not only the common fund that is available to you. you. You can lobby, lobby and get a lot of projects. That's true. A lot. And that connection, I have it. Wow. Even as a non-MP now, I, I, I am lobbying to get some projects in my hometown, Heman. You know, I want to get uh, some drainage facilities for them. Hmm. Okay. There is, uh, you know, we have, we have two rivers that need to be drained. Okay. When we enter Heman, there is a river called uh, Asante Aura. Asante Aura. There is another called Ahunfra. I am seriously lobbying for some funds to get that drainage through and possibly build a storm drain so that the people living along that stretch will have their peace. Because you know what? Whenever it rains heavily, I'm the member of parliament. That will be among the Fair first things, projects I will do for the people of Riman. But then the people of Jukwa, as soon as I become a member of parliament, they are going to get street lights, okay. as Himai has. In fact, my target was to uh, provide street lights for the major towns, Himan, Wawasi, Jukwa, Mfum, Abrafo, Breman, and almost all the towns along the, 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 the main road. Mm, that was my focus. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So, I'll, so I'll, I'll, I'll lobby. I, I trust that. I trust you. Yes. I trust you. Do. So uh, Ivy is on standby with some messages that have come in both on Facebook and on our test and WhatsApp message as well. Ivy, you can take over, please. All right. Thank you, Ivan. So let's start with the um, Facebook messages. Daniel Enin says, I'm watching from Jukwa. Um, you're the best, Honorable Foster. You have made him a lower denture, no size. Um, this also says, you did unprecedented work, and now we can clearly compare you um, and Honorable Bright, and the difference is very clear. This also says, God bless you. Honorable, the youth of Wawasi are very sorry for the support of your kicked out in 2016. We can compare you and the current MP now. 
We owe you a lot and shall pay you back come 2020 polls by voting you massively. This is coming from Nana Ogu Sudan, Ajin Kwan. Nana, thank you for your message. Hi, I'm happy watching you. Imoro, Sadiq. Sadiq, thanks. Um, from Chifu Heman, Honorable, we are sorry voting against you. Asiama Pios. Akro Kerry Junior Tiero, watching live from Akro Kerry. Thank you for your message. Ghanaians are wiser and awake now. Julian Belinda Lamte Obri. Honorable Wusujan Ajenkwa is also watching as he says, Honorable Foster, the people of Wawase thank you for your work and chips compound and our light extension and the area council office which still remains uncommissioned. We need you back to commission it also and to do more. Okay, I think that'll be all for the um, Facebook messages because of time. This also says, hi, this is from WhatsApp. Hi, please, I'm Richard from Chifu Apenkro in the Himalaya Dentra District. The former MP talking a lot, but of his infrastructures are ghost infrastructures. Okay, and those who were being interviewed are not from anywhere near Ankarako. They are from Chifu Ampreko and Himan, respectively, which are very far from Ankarako. So they don't know anything about the chip compound. It's even too far from the nearest town. You, you are a ghost messenger. You didn't add your name. Next time, kindly add your name so that Honorable will know who is talking. Thank you for your message. That's, that's your thought, though. We do appreciate. Honorable Foster is a good man and deserves our vote in that. The district assembly tree for Heman was built by Honorable Foster and shamefully dedicated by MPP's name, Samuel Doglo. Samuel, thank you for your message. I'm Presla Siama. Okay, I'm Priscilla Siyama from Kumasi. Honorable Joseph Foster Ando is the Messiah for him and Lower Dentra. Please come and rescue us from this incompetent right. Priscilla, thank you for your message. Voting um, for Honorable Joseph Foster Ando will never be a regret in the Himan Lower Dentra. Come December 7th, we shall give our precious thumb for him to continue the good work he started from Percy at Trifu So Percy, thank you for your message. Um, the people of him and Lower Dentra should vote for Honorable Joseph Foster Ando to continue the good work he he stopped. We already know his good. Heman Lower Dentra deserves better. Voting for him will never be a regret, but rather development. Thank you for your message. Please, when you add, when you send the message, kindly add your name and where the messages are coming from. Okay. Um, good evening, Pan African TV. It's good to host Honorable Foster Joseph Andor on your show. In fact, we have compared the achievements of Honorable Foster and that of ENPP MP in their respective four-year term, and Honorable Foster stands all. Stands tall. A vote for Honorable Foster Joseph Andor is a vote for development. Let's vote for him and kick out the NPP MP Rasta Chief for him and Rasta. Thank you for your message. Um, let me do some last three messages. Good evening, hosts. Um, Honorable Foster was my MP when I was in Jukwa SHS. He really contributed a lot, and we, the old students of Juksek, really appreciate his efforts then. May God grant him the seat again, for the constituency needs somebody like that for massive developmental project. From Noble Guy, Cape Coast North constituency. Okay, Cape Coast North constituency. Noble Guy, thank you. Good evening, Pan-African Television. Honorable Foster, we, the people of Jukwa, inform are saying we are sorry. We, the youth of you can form our full okay our full day at your back okay youth of the interest say no to bright castro mena thank you i'm richard apia kwanza sorry for not <laughs> okay okay so you send the message earlier on okay richard apia thank you um this last message says honorable foster ando will win massively this year because the people has missed his good works steven asari Okay, now let's finally, let's look at the text messages. Um, good evening. We already know your agenda, and I can promise this agenda won't work in any constituency. Okay, Owari from Heman, thank you for your message. Hi, I th okay. All right, thank you, Foster, for your message. Good evening. My name is Yaya from Tamale. Yaya, how are you? I miss you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, from Tamale inside Agri developmental change is seriously the abandoned roads, hospital, and money like schools is too much. Our leaders only know how to talk, but they can't do anything meaningful for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah and our leaders. Yeah, yeah, thank you for your message. Wrapping up, Honorable Foster is a good man who deserves our votes in that district assembly. Chief for him, man, was built by Honorable Foster and shamefully dedicated by the MPPs, Samuel Doglo. Thank you all for your message. We are sorry we couldn't read all for you. Ivan, over to you. All right, thank you.
for, for bringing us the messages. Honorable Foster, it looks like the people really are now beginning to understand what you did for them. And I think you are resending on their decision for not, you know, allowing you to continue yeah. with your, 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 your channel. And um, I think it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Uh, but, but before we, before we move on, this, this question that I want to ask you, I mean, uh, and your thoughts on it, I mean, there was some controversies or alleged fight between the, um, the current member of parliament, who happens to be Honorable Bright Wilkubobi, and the DCE uh, within the Himan Lower Denshaw constituency, where a lot of people are calling, are saying that it's likely to cause division uh, within the constituency, and obviously, it's likely a large, a large number of majority, a large number of people within the constituency are clearly saying that that will go a long way to affect um, the MPP and obviously the member of parliament come to the 20 election. What is your take on this whole, you know, allegations and obviously complete, uh, I mean, fight between the DC and the member of parliament? And I'm told that, I mean, um, the current member of parliament is advocating vehemently to get the current DC resign. What is your thought on that? Oh, thank you very much. Um so I'm not the right person to answer this question. Okay. <clears throat> this is a purely MPP uh, uh, internal wrangling. Mm. It's their beef. Uh, if they want to fight till uh, till they break, <laughs> hallelujah, <laughs> they can go ahead and fight. Uh, I'm not privy to what happened between the sitting MP and the DC. former DC yeah. and then the current DC. I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know yeah. the internal yeah. issues. But what bothers me or what concerns me is if that will uh, hinder the development of the district, then I'm bothered. Mm. Because if a DC and a member of parliament are fighting, they are the two main agents for development they spearhead the development of the district so when they are fighting we the citizens suffer that's true so if we are suffering then that may uh, warrant we may be contributing right. otherwise uh, i don't think it is my business or whatever to separate them when they are fighting it's two elephants that are fighting <laughs> but seriously uh, we the grass will, will, will suffer. So if I, if I have to offer a free advice, I'll tell them to stop fighting and concentrate on the development. Concentrate on the uncompleted projects that we have left off. They should stop fighting and look at the deplorable roads that are crying for grading. They should stop fighting and look at the uh, schools that we left off that are crying for completion. The people of Onomakwa are crying. The people of Betimo are crying. The people of um, Bukrusu Esukizichi are crying. The people of um, um, what do we call this village? Amuza are crying. The people of Bekapa are crying. Right. Why should the DC and the MP fight? If they will continue to fight, the best thing we can do for them is to say bye bye to them. <laughs> we vote them out so they'll go out there and fight and bring in Foster Joseph Andor to come and continue with the good work. Right. Whilst they continue to fight, mm. they better stop the fight and do the work that we have assigned them. Right. We are paying them with our tax money. So they should stop the fight and work for the, for us. Now that is why we appointed them, mm. or we voted for them. Right. That is my take. Now, interestingly, the 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 New Patriotic Party occupies 19 seats out of the 23 constituencies in the Central Region, yes. which obviously um, uh, uh, Hima uh, lower than Chua is not an exception to yes. it. Yes. Um, so my question is, how do you intend wrestling the seat from the current member of parliament, Honorable Bright Wukubobi? And that obviously will usher us into your future and your agenda for the good people of Hima Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In 2016, yeah. NDC occupied 16 seats, mm. and then PP had seven. They turned it against us, and now we have just four. Yeah. And they have uh, 19. 19. Good. So the tables will turn again. I can mm. assure you. Right. The tables will turn again. 
But let me sound this warning, use this opportunity to sound the warning. We have been um, fully briefed that the current MP is going to marshal uh, forces from mm. elsewhere to go and register at Tofuhiman wow. and its environs. The advice to him and his cohorts is that they better stop that because that will be fiercely resisted. We are not going to allow people from elsewhere to come and register in our constituency and select an MP for us. If that is his agenda, and for that matter, that is why he is performing abysmally, then I'm sorry for him. Human, the people of Human World are sorry for him. That trick will not work. We will not allow anybody from anywhere who is not a resident of Human World to come and select an MP who doesn't, you know, deserve to be our leader for us. Right. That cannot happen. That cannot happen. No. Now let's look at the future of the constituencies. What are some of the policies that you've at outlined um, if, 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 if given the nod to, to represent uh, the good people of Himaloa and to our constituency? Yeah, you know, human development is very, very, very key. Mm. My next coming will focus primarily on human development. Right. My heart beats again for the youth. I am going to mobilize the youth. I have told them that there is going to be uh, the construction of a youth center, okay. a very massive one. Mm. But uh, the, the, the drawings are ongoing, and I have you know, lobbied for some funds. Oh, yeah, that's for some other mobilization yes. available resources yes. as well. Yes. Right. We're going to build a very massive youth center where some of them will be trained. Those who are not trainable, when I mean, when I say trainable, I mean those maybe who are a bit older. Who do not have any requisite skills. Yes, who may not want to enter into uh, any kind of tradesmanship. Right. We will find them something to do. Okay. You see, this um, dream of the uh, Asantiawa and the um, uh, Ahunfa rivers mm. that I talk about, primarily when I get the funds, I'm going to mobilize the youth so that we can use our strength, you know, to do the the work and then get them paid. So the money will be there for them, rather than we hiring a, a an excavator to do the whole thing when the youth can, you know, help with the development. If if for instance the cost will be hundred thousand for an excavator. Why don't I give the 100000 to the youth to do the job mm. so that they can have something in their pockets? So my next comment is primarily going to focus on the youth and see them through education, see them through trades, see them through trading, see them through those who will be uh, interested in doing massive farming who will support them right. to do it. What of any infrastructural development? Infrastructure development is, is you, you can't do away with it. Mm. You know, I've, I, I have said that Jokwa, Wawasi, Breman, and all the other major towns along the main road are going to have their street light. Places that need to be tarred, we're going to get them tarred, especially Himan, which is the district capital. You know, we have a project called the District Capital Roads Improvement Project, DCREP mm. for right. short. Uh, every district qualifies for about uh, five kilometers okay. of tarred roads. I started that. The, con uh, the contractor was awarded the contract, I think just about a month to elections. He did not turn up before we lost power. Okay. I, 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 the contract has been awarded. I was thinking uh, that Rokugobi would take it up from there to get him tarred roads done. But as I'm sitting here, well, I left there about a month ago. I don't know whether he has started. Okay. But as of the last time I was at Heman, nothing, nothing like that okay. has happened. Okay. Now, how would you when I come back, I'm going to make sure, within the first year, mm. I'm going to make sure Heman town roads are tired. Finally, how would you call the current member of parliament 
uh, I mean, percentage-wise, how would you score him? Now, if you have to, if you have to score your enemy, uh, what no, I mean, I mean, I'm sure you probably might know that he's also doing something beneficial. To be very honest, so how you? Because you have been a member of parliament before, like the good people who are sending the messages could clearly tell the difference between you and him. Now, your estimation, how would you score him? You know, in parliament, when parliamentarians were being scored, he ranked 230, is it 34, 35, thereabout, in parliament. They are 275. Yeah. And he scored 235, or I don't know. So, I don't know. you think he's performed that personally? So, if Parliament has scored him that, how much more his constituents? <laughs> I need a number from you. From me? Yeah. No, the good people of Himalaya Wedding shall give him the scores mm. with our thumb come December. I like that. Finally, your last words, your final words to the good people. My of good people of Himalaya Wedding shall. My greetings to you. Uh, by a week today, I'll be in town and we will continue with the agenda. Don't be despair. All hope is not lost. We are going to continue from where we left off. We deserve the best. We don't, we don't have to, you know, get so worried because Bright has, you know, put us, put us in the, in the, in the reverse gear. We were on the right pedal of acceleration by way of development. But it's like handling a baton to uh, somebody in a relay. Instead of he moving forward, he started running back. We are, we are far behind development in four years, four years behind. All hope is not lost. Vote massively for Foster Joseph Fandor from Jokwa to Himan. Mm. Women, men, young, old. Whether you are an MPP, whether you are an NDC, whether you are a Kwadonkos supporter, wherever you belong to, it is not an issue of I belong to MPP, I belong to this party. No. When it comes to Parliament, please look for somebody who is peer-head development. After all, that is why we vote. We vote for candidates to help us develop in our constituency. Right. And that is what First Andor stands for. Right. I have in my eight years of politics sacrificed my all to get communities developed i will not keep money in my pocket when people are suffering when people are not getting water to drink when people uh, are basically in need of a chips compound i will not do that i will not build mansions for myself when i need to provide for instance a chips compound how much does it cost to do such a thing hmm. but please Okay. Uh, next time, don't buy into the the big promises, right. the sweet words, okay. which doesn't contain okay. anything. Okay. Just stick to the old one. After all, it is said that uh, it's only when you have two things that you can compare. Now that we have two things, we've carried water, we've carried uh, wine. Right. You know which one is heavier. Yeah, heavier. I wanted you uh, to say something in your local dialect to your people, but uh, it looks like you're behind that. But something small, brief, short. Your uh, local yeah, yeah, it kind of sad there. Yeah. Mm. 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 Ye be ko so na ya to abana ma foster gisifando na mwa se se ode boye no wa henwa de aboye me so me mi nu hamo okay se enye e ka me ko se me idia nke bia e be ka se be pebe bia tra okay me ba se ma be boa mu ti bi chiamu na nya mi shamu Thank you. All right, so we have been in conversation with um, Honorable Foster Joseph and uh, well, if you believe in his agenda, you know what to do. When it's time to vote, you go to the polls and vote for him so he becomes the next uh, member of parliament or uh, MP for the um, people of the Himalaya Dentra constituency. Now, this has been the show Constituency Connect. My name is Ivan Banks and I've been doing this with my colleague Ivy Abnadade Nakite. We'll come away same time on Thursday and until then, do enjoy the rest of our programs. We are out.